Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today we have another product we're going to unbox. But before I do that, do you recall this one? X3 G3 X3 Hybrid G4 Generation 4, 15 kilowatt. And here we have the parallel box that allows you to connect up to three of these together so you know the large manufacturers like schneider they have a, a box that they give for their xw plus xw pro it's used to connect multiple inverters when you're paralleling them so here's a sim here is similar from solar x power this sucker is heavy it weighs 35.5 kg that's about 50 pounds the thing is heavy um before I open it, uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe. It, sh it says that 60% of you that watch my channel have not subscribed to my channel. So what do I need to do to convince you to subscribe? You watch, but you're not subscribed. So please, if you're yet to subscribe, click sub subscribe. I need to get 30,000 subscribers. So it's called the X3 EPS box. So it's, um, X3 EPS stands for X3, which is the three phase. EPS um, and then parallel box. So I'm going to open it and show you what it looks like and um, We'll take it from there. So let me open it Show you as I as I see it you see it too because I've yet to open it I can't even tell what's inside. So let's be as surprised as one another when I open it So when we do our installations There are lots of things we require to make the installation safe the inverter of course your batteries but you also need your breakers your battery disconnects, your surge suppression, the uh, ability to properly mount your CT meters, and what um, Solar X has over the year is that they are just interested in pushing out boxes. Here, they're interested in pushing out a complete solution. So, if you recall, I did a video on the mid box, and the mid box is in between the battery and the inverters, and in it, you had your battery disconnect, your DC disconnect for PV your surge protection, your AC um, input and AC output breakers were all in that box in something that really is neat and tidy. And that's what, that's what I like that they do. They think about you, the installer, and they want to make it look as beautiful and as neat and as safe as possible. So I've opened the box and I'm seeing, laying my eyes on it for the first time. So, um, ooh, there's a big fat sticker so let me see that big sticker there warning you so here we go um x3 x3 eps spiral box and parallel system the installation guide and i'll open it in a second and look through it standard accessories which they supply you to, um, to use to mount it on the wall um uh, logs and then your ac connectors so let me remove, well, let me open this first. So bear with me, let me pause and then I'll open it and I'll look through the manual and we'll look at it together, okay? So I've opened the manual, so we have a manual. It's not as tightly bound as that of the inverter. A warranty registration card. And then your packing list. Um your quick installation guide which is this so if you look on the quick installation guide it shows your three inverters right your master slave one and slave two and then here is your EPS parallel distribution box so your neutral bar your TS and R and then um, so T, S, and R. Well, I'll explain that after I read the manual. I have no clue what that means, but I'm sure those of you who are more electrically, electrically inclined can explain what that means. So when I open the box, what I see in here will correspond. So all your, all your wiring goes in your, both your, your load and your inverters and your AC go into this box. And then from this box, it goes into your power, you know, your grid distribution box or your power box or however you want to label it. So as you can see, I'm stumbling because I've not opened this yet. I'm bumbling, but 
Today is just to unbox and show you what the product looks like on the inside, okay? So let me open it. Um, let me open it, bring it out, and then we'll see what's on the inside. And then next time, I'll go into an in-depth discussion as to how it actually does its job. This sucker is huge. Look at how big the thing is. So you have um, your load, grid, EPS 1, 2, so these are different loads if you choose to uh, power multiple loads, and then your COM cable. And there is lighting in here that shows EPS or grid based on what's available and your F cable. And then here, if you can read upside down, is the specs on it. So, um, rated AC voltage 230, 400, 220, 380. So it's three phase frequency. Maximum AC input current is 80 amps. Maximum number of inverter connections is five. So I can connect up to five inverters on this. Um, rated EPS input voltage 230, 400. Rated EPS current 14 and a half each string and you have five strings and then your load 72.5 amps um, load output in grid mode 80 amps and the EPS mode which is battery mode 72 uh, 72.5 amps so everything is IP65 it could be installed outdoors let me show you the front and then I'm going to open this sucker up and then we We'll discuss it some, we'll open it and then take a look on the inside. So let me back up so you see how big this thing is. It's pretty big. I mean, it's huge. So you're going to, you can put up to five of the 15 kilowatt inverters into this socket here. Pretty impressive. So hold on, let me turn it, let me turn it face. Let me turn the back down and then open it and then we will see what's on the inside. So one of the things that amazed me is the fact that they have 12 screws holding the cover in place. 12. They sure want to keep it very airtight. I guess that's why it's rated IP65. There's the cover, there's the cover there. And then they have, they earthed the cover to the chassis right there. So there's earthing to the chassis right there. So here's the inside. I have no clue what I'm looking at. I'm not, when it comes to being an electrician, I'm not good. But you can see your bus bars for load. And then here is your grid input. And then your bus bars to connect. And then here is your EPS or your load side, which is your output side. And here, is a bu here are the bus bars to connect. And then over here somewhere, right there, is communication so I'm reading what it says right here I'm not really that smart I'm reading what it shows here so it says uh, model X3 for the model model X3 EPS box P5E and P10E so it shows you your bus bars L1 L2 L3 and neutral which is right there so if you recall the last uh, job we did in we had to get a a panel box built for us an AC box Guess what? These guys thought about it and they did it. We're going to have to go out and build something. If you recall, we had a, a, a AC, AC breaker. AC, we had two AC breakers. Uh, they were, I think, 400 amps. 250 or 400 amps. I don't remember exactly what they were. Um, here is the, on the input side, the grid side, and here it is on the load side. So they thought about everything. They put all your bus bars in place. Uh, you don't have to, and it's pretty, it looks good with this plexiglass cover so that you don't go in electric electri electric electric yourself after you're done. Uh, your you know, see the way they have it set up on the outside, and then they have your little lights that indicate to you what's going on. It's amazing. Um, you know, so that someone is willing to think through that someone is willing to think through um, how they are going to put their systems together says a whole lot. So, this is it for the Solar X, X3, X3 is three phase, EPS, you know what that is, is cell consumption, parallel box. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. I need to get to 3,000 subscribers. And uh, it says 60% of you that watch my video are not subscribers. So please uh, just check the subscribe button and you become a subscriber. 
Once again, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.